Claire was born in the warmer temperatures of Texas. She was always raised with several of her relatives, which gave her a more social personality from the start. Claire often begged for pets growing up, but was always told no because of how often she moved. Claire always felt like she couldn't get too attached to anything, or else she would be feeling the same regret with every move. When Claire finally settled down in Cape West, she often visited the stables where she felt more open to feeling at home. It was the first time in years where she could actually embrace where she was living without the worry of feeling sorrow after leaving. Claire began to have anxiety when she first moved to Jorvik. She felt scared about moving to an entirely new place. She had so many questions that weren't answered yet. Although still nervous, Claire started feeling more at home when she met Karen, the local stable girl who was willing to give Claire lessons in exchange for some daily stable work. It may not be worth it for some, but it did give Claire something to do and make her feel more important about. Something to stay occupied in her new lifestyle. I was born August 29th. My zodiac sign is Virgo. My charm is generosity. My favorite color is pastel pink. My favorite food is ice cream. My favorite drink is lemonade. My favorite animals are dogs and horses, of course. My best friends are Alice, Scarlett, Sarah, Emily, Alex, Yova, and Sally, and a lot of people. My crush and slash partner is Robin. My horse is... My horses are Honey and Tinkerbell. For riding, I go back to my Texas roots, but I love girly stuff too, like skirts for my style. And some important notes about me, I want to become a fashion designer or a model. I like to use the word sorry quite a lot. Um, it's a habit of mine. And I admire good qualities in everyone, and I try to be creative all the time. Sarah's parents had many money issues when she was born, so she often found herself living in a small one-floor and two-bedroom house with small floor spaces. Sarah grew up with lots of siblings, which made it difficult living in such small spaces. But when her parents gained a bit more money, they afforded to buy a small three-bedroom house in New Hillcrest. It had more room to feel comfortable and at home. Sarah was known for her super comedic and quirky personality. She was always making puns during homeschool sessions, but when she was enrolled at public school, Sarah felt more embarrassed and hid her true self to fit in and feel liked. She began to see herself differently and not in a good way. She felt more and more distant from her siblings as they went to their schools, and her parents were constantly disagreeing and fighting. Sarah felt more and more depressed and unhappy throughout the weeks. She was lonely, she was not true to herself, and she felt like nothing was right. But when she met Claire and Alice, she found her happy place, and more importantly, friends who could help her get better, and friends who loved the real Sarah Buren. I was born June 8th. My zodiac sign is Gemini. My charm is comedy or laughter. My favorite color is navy blue. My favorite food is Tim Tan chocolate bars. Like, seriously, you need to try them. My favorite drink is boba. My favorite animal, well, animals are donkey, narwhal, and horsies. My best friends are Alice, Claire, Sally, and Yulva. My crush slash partner is Sean. He's hilarious. My horses are Rain and Ginger. My style is mostly sweaters, sweatpants, and socks. And some notes about me, I'm usually super confident, I sleep in no matter what, I watch every single YouTube video that I see, and I order very oddly specific meals.
but I like it that way, okay? I'm very specific. Before Alice was born, her mother had a lot of pain and illness during the pregnancy. Doctors told her to be prepared for anything, even the death of Alice in the most extreme cases. Her mother fought hard and strong throughout the birth, and fortunately, Alice survived! Her mother barely made it through. She was so ill, she couldn't leave the hospital for another week. Alice was taken home with her dad, who feared the worst every time he called the doctors. They called one morning for de devastating news. Her heartbeat was going down rapidly, and they didn't have much time to save her. He had no choice but to bring Alice to the hospital with him and get to see her one more time. When he arrived, her face was covered entirely with tears. Her face was all red. He hugged her as Alice was being held by the doctor. We're sorry, but we can't do much else to save your wife. We tried everything we could, said Dr. Roberts. Although her mother may have not survived as long as she wished, she knew that deeply inside her mother was a great person that would stand up for anything. I was born September 23rd. My zodiac sign is Libra. My charm is honesty. My favorite color is purple. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite drink is soda. My favorite animal, well, of course they're cats. I love horses too, but kitties are just too cute. My best friends are Claire, Sarah, Scarlett, and Lily. My crush slash partner, I haven't ever felt like I needed someone like that. My horses are solar in love. My style is kawaii, dressage, western. It could go on for days, I'm not gonna lie. And some notes about me. By honesty, they mean brutally honest. It takes a while for me to apologize. I'm really open-minded, and I definitely hold grudges, but I have a big heart. Lily was born in Silverglade Manor, just outside of Golden Hills Valley. Her mother loved to bake and even takes shifts at Zorbucks. Lily was originally aspiring to become a baker like her mother, but after falling for cuddly cute little poodles at the pet store, she knew it was obvious to be a veterinarian. Her parents, however, didn't agree it was in her blood to become a baker, but she didn't accept it. She felt like it wasn't allowed she wasn't allowed to be herself, which is something she never wanted to feel like. Lily finally opened up about it and expressed that she didn't want to go against any of their history, but she also wanted to blaze a new trail too. After lots and lots of reasoning and proving to herself that she's worth it, she was allowed to follow her dreams in becoming a vet. It would take many years of work, but her heart was set. When Lily and Alice took special vacation several years later, Lily insisted upon taking on her taking a completely different plane, but Alice didn't know why. Alex contacted Lily a month la later and admitted that her parents said after the vacation she had to join them in their new house located in Canada. But Lily knows nothing can stop their friendship, despite how far away they are. I was born January 28th. My zodiac sign is Aquarius. My charm is wisdom. My favorite color is magenta. My favorite food is apple pie, and my favorite drink is fruit punch. My favorite animal, well, is that even a question? My best friends are Alice, Alex, Claire, Sarah, Scarlett, Emily, everyone. My partner slash crush, I haven't found the one just yet. My horses are Angel, Dustin, and Confetti. Well, Confetti was rented, but I loved him. My style is prep uniforms on weekdays, basic riding gear on weekends, and girly little skirts in between. All have to be adorable. Some notes about me is I share all of my info except super personal stuff. I despise popcorn, I don't know why. I love all animals, but especially kawaii ones. I sing in private, and I get extremely embarrassed when spotted. 
Emily was born in a family that treated nature with extra care, which meant going vegan and doing everything to protect Earth. It may feel like a no-pressure-though kind of situation, but Emily didn't mind as it was a lifestyle she grew up in. Sometimes Emily and her family would take trips to special places, and the trip they took to Golden Hills Valley would change Emily's life entirely. She heard a loud whinny coming from the shore surrounding Golden Lee Stables. Emily rushed to find the horse in distress and saw a beautifully golden Pentabian horse tangled in seaweed and rocks. Emily carefully removed the rocks and seaweed from her hoof, softly humming a sweet Hawaiian song she was taught. When Daisy got free, the crowd of worried citizens gasped as Emily jumped onto the horse entirely bareback. The stable hand Karen ran out to Emily with a huge smile and asked, Emily, how did you do it? And she replied, when you feel a connection, it just happens. It just happens. We better get her to a vet and fast. And ever since then, Emily went down in history as one of the best wranglers ever. I was born March 21st. My zodiac sign is Aries. My charm is kindness. My favorite color is yellow. My favorite food is avocado toast. My favorite drink is nothing like H2O. Um, water, if you didn't know. My favorite animals are any mammal, insect, bird, mm, never mind. My best friends are Sarah, Claire, Scarlet, Lily, and Yulba. My partner slash crush is Bradley. Uh, no telling, though. My horse is Daisy forever! My style is lots of patterns, always environmentally safe. Notes. Allergic to seafood, gets seasick, quite stubborn. I may act like a, vo a Virgo at first sight, but my airy side will kick in if you push me push the wrong button. Alex was born in the wrong side of New York, in a small apartment full of crime waiting outside their door. Her life started out rough. Her mom was always working at home and left Alex's older brother, Ellis, to take charge, and only at age five. Alex's father rarely stayed, and when he did, it was only to talk about his problems no one cared about. Her dad often smoked and got new tattoos every week. He often stole vehicles for excitement. Alex was growing up the wrong way, and, and wasn't taught right or wrong. Only bad girl and bomb girl. She had a good advantage at taking care of herself in bad situations, at least. When she was around 10, her parents divorced and moved to New Hillcrest, where she met Scarlett. At the time, Scarlett was staying with her grandparents at Firgrove, but Scar often wanted to get away from the stress of feeling lost. They instantly clicked as they had much in common. I was born December 22nd. My zodiac sign is Capricorn. My charm is strength. My favorite color is dark, 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 dark blue. My favorite food is Taki chips with extra hot Tabasco sauce. My favorite drink is red or white Gatorade. My favorite animal is Godzilla. Oh, uh, or Komodo dragons. They're cool too. Um, my best friends are Scarlet Lily, her, my brother, DJ Kai, and Yulva. My partner slash crush, uh, what? Crush? <laughs> no, that's funny. My horse is Pelotola and Blackberry. My style is crop tops with tees underneath, ripped jeans, high tops, you know, the whole shebang. Notes about me. I love playing guitar, but I also have stage fright in large crowds. So, uh, yeah. I'm never starting fights, but happy to finish them. I'm patient no matter what the situation. I get a little too attached sometimes. I only had one relationship with a guy named Angus, which is the biggest mistake I'll ever make. I've ever made, and I'll never do it again. Scarlet was born in Dundle, a small but cozy town known for the hard-working villagers and peaceful surroundings. Scarlet's parents both had artistic aspirations. Scarlet's mother loved to paint, but also enjoyed wildlife just as much, while Scarlet's father more desired to become a musician. 
He took on the task of painting, writing, and even considered medical school. Both of Scarlett's parents were bold and took on several challenges at once, which explains why Scarlett is always eating more than she can chew. Their relationship with Scarlett was one of a kind, something truly special. Most of the time, Scarlett's parents were both busy trying to keep money in the bank while also keeping Scarlett's ha Scarlett happy and still learning the importance of hard work, too. Around the age of five, Scarlett's father had a sudden passing. No doctor could explain what truly happened to this day. Scarlett didn't understand at the time, but she still held the memory in her heart to finally understand when she was older. Scarlett never took her emotions out on others, but instead would tend to bottle them up, and resulting her in more upsetting reactions than anything. Scarlett didn't spend all her time grieving, however. Scarlett still took time to occupy herself, learn new things, and become wiser. When Scarlett was older, her mother was diagnosed with cancer, which led to an unfortunate loss as well. I was born November 23rd. My zodiac sign is Sagittarius. My charm is courage. My favorite color is yellow, but I love them all for their uniqueness. My favorite food is salad. My favorite drink is Yorbuck's Cafe Latte. My favorite animal is obviously a horse, duh. My best friends, Claire, Sarah, Alice, Emily, Yova, Alex, everybody, really. My crush slash partner is Alec Walters. My horse, well, horses are ever in courage. <sighs> Rest in peace. My style is hoodies and jeans. Add some boots and a helmet when riding, though. Some notes about me. I bottle up my emotions. I'm always super courageous. I'm not competitive, but very stubborn. Honesty first. Not timid, but usually super quiet when not around her squad. Well, my squad. <laughs> Just like Lily, Hannah was born in Silverglade Manor. She was a peaceful baby, but as she grew older, she became more and more loud. She often got called out when she was younger in school for her talkative and loud nature. But she, as she matured, she's gotten a lot more academically successful. But don't let that fool you. She still loves to be her quirky self on a daily basis. Growing up, she lived with her brother, mom, dad, and grandma. But within recent years... Hannah's grandma passed away, which put a lot of her self-confidence down. She started to embrace life on a more realistic way thanks to her grandmother, and she knew that deep down she's still alive. Hannah was often unfriended for being overdramatic, and yes, sometimes she was, but not in every situation. Hannah continues to struggle with her grief, but when wearing her gr grandmother's locket, it gives her strength. When she met Scarlett, she knew that she finally found a real friend, someone who she can trust, and can be her quirky self around. I was born July 2nd. My zodiac sign is Cancer. My charm is Curiosity. My favorite color is, ugh, so many, blue, teal, uh, I could go on for a while. My favorite food is donuts. <laughs> Um, sorry. My favorite drink is apple juice, but extra cold. My favorite animal is donkeys, dogs, and horses. Well, animals, I guess I should say. My best friends are Claire, Scar, Yulva, and Emily. My partner slash crush is n nobody My horses, well, my horse is Summer, and she's the best. My style is very Western, you know? Notes. Def definition of curiosity killed the cat. I'm dramatic and born with dyslexia and loves adventure. It's true, though. I love it. Benjamin grew up with many, many siblings who didn't 100% understand him. Benjamin grew up as a hard worker. He wouldn't give up an important task to any circumstances. He would become extremely stubborn when he was working on something. Benjamin had high expectations when it came to his career. He wanted to be a woodworker or something similar, but sadly, when reality kicked in, he had to get shifts at Fort Pinta Cafe. It paid the bills, but not his dreams. But if he didn't want to get that job, 
then he wouldn't have met the love of his life, Elizabeth. He was waiting their table as he looked into her eyes, feeling like he forgot every other emotion except love. He had previous relationships that didn't end well. He was usually pressured into the relationships and was always doing things that he despised. But when he started noticing Elizabeth, he wasn't too good at expressing his emotions. But it all ended well, luckily. At least for the most part. I cannot do a male voice, so I'm just going to have Elizabeth do this. Benjamin was born September 7th. His zodiac sign is Virgo, not September. His charm is hardworking. His favorite color is maroon. He loves trail mix for his favorite food. His favorite drink is green tea. His favorite animal is a panther. Best friends of his is Yolva, Dave Harf, and Joe Brown. His partner slash crush is Elizabeth, well, or, you know, me. My His horse is no one. He doesn't have a horse. His style is usually just t-shirts, jeans, and boots. He often wears whatever is clean. Some notes about him. He has a charming personality and voice. He fostered four animals growing up and used to work at a trampoline park. I don't know why, though. Elizabeth was born on a windy autumn's night. At first, her parents went through every effort into making Elizabeth happy. They may have not been rich, but they would spend all their money in the world for Elizabeth. That is, until her brothers entered the situation. Her mom had two twins who got all the attention. Elizabeth began to become the family misfit. She was always tasked with extra chores and responsibilities growing up, while her siblings stood by. Elizabeth was also casted out for liking horror when she, the rest of her family couldn't stand it. One night, Elizabeth had a mental breakdown about her feelings, and even then her parents told her to walk it off and get over her dramatic show. Elizabeth felt like she couldn't trust anyone because of how she was treated at home, and it was sadly a smart choice as she was also bullied at school. Luckily, she had her BFF, Yolva, to help her out. I was born October 16th. My zodiac sign is a Libra. My charm is musical, I suppose. If I had one, that is. My favorite color is cherry red. My favorite food is red velvet cake. There's a little bit of a pattern there. My favorite drink is nothing like green tea, something me and Benji have in common. My favorite animal is a hummingbird. They're so elegant. My best friends are, well, Yolva, Scarlet, and Emily, but mostly Yolva. No offense, Scarlet and Emily. My partner slash crush is Benjamin, of course. I love him so much. I used to have a horse named Melody, but I do not have one anymore. My style is sweater, leggings, or a long dress. They may be all over the place, but that's just how I am. Some notes about me, I rumored to be lost, a ghost who caused damage through being transparent, but I'm not. I gave a genetic dysfunction giving birth to my two twins, which had two unique hair colors at birth. Roxanne, a girl born in a small neighborhood hidden within Minnesota. Her mother was said to have dark secrets from her past which explains Roxanne's powerful force towards black magic. Her mom was rumored to mess with witchcraft, as her ancestors did too. She was driven out of several countries before finding a cozy and safe place where she could supposedly leave her dark past behind. Roxanne's father left when she was a toddler, leaving room for plenty of scars and mental issues ahead of time. Roxanne was usually called home, but her mother honestly couldn't care less. Roxanne met Yulva and Lisbeth when she was eight, but after a misunderstanding, it was clear that Roxanne was no person to mess with. When they were in the same class once again, when she was 11, she tried to frame Lisbeth for some graffiti outside their school, ever since she's planned a scheme for Yulva and Lisbeth that can bring revenge and lots of evil powers to the table. I was born October 30th, a day before Halloween. 
My zodiac sign is a Scorpio. My charm is manipulative. My favorite color is black, and I don't care if it's a shade. My favorite food is the most flaming hot peppers. I don't know which one. My favorite drink is black coffee, like the color of my soul. My favorite animal, a scorpion. Duh. It's pretty obvious. My best friends, you have to be kidding. Who made this? Partner slash crush, I used to like Benjamin, but someone ruined it. My horse is Phantom. He's a simple horse at first glance, but not all the time once you get to know him. And not just physically, but also mentally. My style is, on a normal day, loose top leggings, but on a more mischievous day, black everything. Some notes about me. My bark may be stronger than my bite, but it still has abilities like no other. I make deals, not friendships. I have a cat named Ritual. Like, really, I don't care what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It took a while to do a voiceover. Since it's just me doing these voiceovers, obviously they're all going to sound like me in a way. But I'm going to do a voice claim for them of who I think should voice them or what their voices would actually sound like. I'm only doing however I would possibly do it. Some of them I might have wanted to do like an accent or something, but I didn't know how. Um, not really all of them or anything, but anyways, I am not a voice actor, so I can't like change my voice very well. But anyways, I still hope you guys enjoyed, and if you made it this far, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! MC Squad out!